Ruby, are you okay? No. <sighs> my head hurts. Hangover? Worst of my life. No. No, that's not true. Mm, top 10. Top 20. Top 50 for sure. I think I blacked out at Denny's trying to order half a Grand Slam. Are you married? Yes. Well, congratulations are in order, I suppose. Not congratulations. We're getting an annulled. Like Britney 2004. So you didn't consummate the marriage? We did, like a lot. <laughs> and it was really good. But like later, I came back to our room and I caught him consummating it with someone else. A stripper. I see. Maybe she wasn't a stripper, but she looked like a stripper. You know what I mean? Like, she had a great body. And I'm just like, fuck girls that make me insecure. Like, fuck them for existing. <gasps> That's not the healthiest perspective. Evelyn. What about me seems healthy? Touche. I should have known it wasn't going to work when he like had fret letters tattooed on his chest. You know what I mean? Or like, I should have known it wasn't going to work when he wouldn't take his AirPods out at our wedding. <laughs> Not even at the end when we did the, the pictures. Yeah, I know. I like literally need to have them destroyed. <laughs> Honestly, you know, it's like, it's fine because I like, I like dodged a bullet. Not quite. Why do I pay you to insult me? You don't pay me. Your father pays me. And I believe he pays you to see me. So <sighs> everyone wins. What are your plans for the rest of the day? I don't know. My dad's getting me a lawyer and then I'm going to like go to the spa or something. <sighs> Spa is open during the pandemic? God, I fucking hope so. I mean, I literally need a seaweed wrap to like just detox from 2020 and like too much alcohol and whatever the fuck that weird powder was that Jordan kept giving me. God. Ugh. Oh my God. Okay. I should have texted you this earlier in the week, but like, thank you so much for getting me into astrology. Wow. I mean, like, I honestly always look down on it as like, definitely fake, right? But um, now it's like my career or something. I don't know. I like started this, you know, Instagram meme page the other day cause I was fucking bored. But then this like huge account reposted me. And now I have like a hundred thousand followers. And I'm just saying it's like, a Leo identified person? I mean, this shit is. How long has it been that you've been studying the art and science of astrology? A couple months now. Like, I learned a lot on Tumblr and then, you know, I'm just like putting my own spin on it. And now I'm on TikTok and Zoomers love me. I used to think that I was a baby millennial, but I'm actually like an elder Zoomer. It's like, whoa, I'm an elder now. I'm like you, like crone power. Anyways, now I'm on TikTok and I have like half a million followers. <laughs> so I'm just like doing readings for drug money. Well, don't write that down. Oh my God. I don't believe astrology readings before your Saturn return is a wise idea. There's really so much to learn. Essential dignities, annual perfection, secondary progressions, zodiacal releasing, time lords, out of sect malefics. <laughs> learn by doing. But you, you could spread misinformation. Oh my god, it's astrology, Evelyn. It's not climate science. Honestly, like, you should just Venmo me 50 bucks. 
I'll take a look at your chart. I bet I could read the shit out of you. No. No, thank you. Uh, that won't be needed. But your father was very anxious to see you develop professionally. I could recommend a few online astrology courses to zhush up your memes. No. I'm a total natural. Is there a dream that you wanted to discuss today? Oh my god. My dream? Okay, so the other night I dreamed. Picture this. I'm in the forest. There's no one else around. I'm just walking, minding my business. And then like this little fox appears. And it was like so cute and it was totally sweet. But then out of nowhere, I like turned left and then it bit me. And so then I was like, whoa, hey. And I didn't even know where I was going, right? Like it's a forest. And then it bit me again. And I was like, okay, stop. So I kicked it away, but then it like literally wouldn't stop biting me. And it was like following me around, running, biting, snapping. And that was my dream. I believe the fox companioning you was your dream ego's intuition, your animal side trying desperately to get you to listen. Foxes in the dream imply a little trickster energy, cunning, deception. Plenty of that in your wheelhouse. Wait, what? Foxes combine the masculine-coded dog with the feminine-coded cat, canine, feline, lupine. Any moose and any mob, perhaps. But mm. in the dream, the ego is a little diffuse little fragmented, a little flaccid. Flaccid? We see a certain lack of mutuality. I don't know what you're saying right now. Yes, uh, to put it simply, you need to learn to trust your intuition. But I do, I do, okay? It was my intuition that told me, go marry Roger. Shit, I mean Jordan. <laughs> Well, both of them. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. It was, it was not your intuition. That was your brain, your ego. It's the ego and the ego alone that leads you to where you are now. Morning after your wedding. Hungover and alone. Okay. Be nice. And who could see it coming? Everyone except for you. Literally, like... What gives you the right to talk to me like that? Do you want to start a GoFundMe to heal from the trauma of it? What did you just say? Ruby, I, I apologize. Uh, that was beyond the professional bounds. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to call my dad. And I'm going to tell him. That you're a terrible therapist. Who should never, ever get a book deal. And in fact, should be blacklisted from the industry. You know, you're gonna have to self-publish your shit. Do you hear me? A Kindle single. Congrats, bitch. Wait, I, I didn't mean anything by it, I swear. No, I... okay, I like literally cannot believe that I ever listened to advice from some virgin hermit loser like you. Hermit? 